Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. Today I'm going to be talking about my January favorites. So I do have some non-makeup related items that I want to share with you guys. So I think I'm going to share those first so that we can end on a makeup note. So the first thing that I had to throw into this favorites video is this water bottle or mug. I don't know how exactly it's classified, but this is from Swell. I'm one of those people that I drink coffee every single day, but but it literally takes me at least a few hours to drink it so I have a hard time just putting it in a regular mug it gets cold very fast for the time that it takes me to drink it if you guys have ever looked into the swell bottles they are dumb expensive and this one in particular was $35 <sighs> And I will say I got extremely lucky because I was looking at this for a really long time and it so happened that my fiance got a Starbucks gift card that he allowed me to use to buy this at Starbucks. Thank you again so much for that. I believe their reasoning behind the high price point is because these do not ever sweat and I can attest to that. These never sweat. doesn't matter if I have something really hot, something really cold. These keep whatever hot drink I put in here hot for the entire day and if I put something cold in here again it stays cold the entire day I do really like that I like the sort of mouth of it I don't ever feel like it's going to spill on me sometimes I feel like with some of the water bottles especially like the bigger wider ones they tend to spill everywhere and I don't have that problem with it was it really worth the $35 <laughs> I don't know but it was definitely a favorite and now after trying it I personally would go out and purchase it with my own money if I didn't have this one I may eventually purchase some more just because I, I don't know, I just really like them. So my next favorite from January was my new bullet journal. I did get this because I really wanted another creative outlet. I did decide when I got this notebook that I wanted to hold off and not officially start my bullet journal until February so that I could spend more time to just really do whatever I wanted to kind of set this journal up. I didn't want to feel rushed. I didn't want to just like have to come up with something. I could do a video for you guys if you want. I know it's a little bit late. A lot of people start these in January, but I mean, I don't mind starting in February. That doesn't bother me. This has been just so much fun. I've been having so much fun learning different like techniques and styles and just like different things that go on in this book. And so it was for sure a favorite of mine. I only have one other non-makeup related favorite for January and it is this little tray. I did get this for a dollar at Target and their dollar zone or whatever it's called now. I don't know. There's like one to five dollars. Whatever that section is called. I needed something to be able to put my rings in. My engagement ring is just a little bit too big for me to be wearing while I sleep. I will scratch literally everything so I really wanted a specific tray to be able to put it in so I went ahead and picked this up I just think it is so cute it was a dollar and it just it goes nicely with my room so I really like it so I have a few things from my panning projects that I wanted to mention those first so the first thing from my panning project is this pixie glow mist this is not the one that I'm using this is an unopened one I didn't want to share with you guys the one that I'm using specifically because I don't want to share with you guys the exact progress that I have I will be updating you guys I think in like a week or two weeks from now I don't know this is so amazing I love to use this I use this on top of my makeup I use this on top of my skincare I use this throughout the day it is just so good it really makes my skin feel nice and refreshed it doesn't leave it sticky but it does give it a nice glow it's amazing that's all another item from one of my panning projects is a skincare item this is from it cosmetics this is the bye bye makeup and I did mention to you guys in my panning video that I hadn't used it for a while but I remembered really liking it and like let me tell you guys once I started using this again I just completely fell in love. I love to use this. It makes me sad on any day that I don't wear makeup because I'm not going to be using this because I just really like it that much. I am going to be sad once this is finished because this was not cheap at all but I think that this works so nice. I love the way that this makes my skin feel. This takes off literally every speck of makeup known to man on my face. It is a wonderful product so it definitely made it to my favorites for January. Another item from one of my painting projects is from the Body Shop. This is a body butter in the scent 
coconut. I have been loving this. I am sad that I wasn't using these before, but I'm so glad that I rediscovered these in my collection. I've been using these every single day. They make my skin feel so nice, and I just love the smell. It's not too overpowering. It's just really nice and subtle. It just makes me feel wonderful, and so this is also a favorite of mine. So I have one other favorite from my painting projects, and this one is kind of like only half because I do mix something else with it. So what I'm talking about is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. If I mix this with this Pure Cosmetics Bear It All Foundation, oh my gosh, I love the way that these two look on my skin. It's just like such a nice finish. I found that I had to apply this a certain way, I think, to make it look the best. So first I would go in with a brush and kind of blend this out all over and then go in with a damp sponge and just kind of like make sure everything looks good and the end result is so good. I love these two mixed together, so this was also a favorite of mine. I also have a few incredibly dirty sponges to mention. So I did get this set of sponges from Ulta around the holidays. This is from Eco Tools. These are definitely a little bit more firm, I think, than the beauty blenders, but I actually really like these. These blend out my makeup so well. I'm so glad that I decided to pick these up, even though I have a million other sponges. These by far are my favorite sponge tools that I have ever tried. Even better than the beauty blenders, even better than the ones from Real Techniques. I just think that the like squishiness of it is just perfect for me. It makes my makeup go on so nicely. Love them. These were amazing. I also have two eyeshadow palettes to mention to you guys. So first is from Urban Decay. This is the Heavy Metal Palette. Oh my gosh, this thing is so fun to play with. I have found pretty much every single day that even if I think my makeup looks complete, I still want to pull this palette out. I love metallic or glittery types of shadows, so this is right up my alley. The other eyeshadow palette that I wanted to mention in my January favorites was from Huda Beauty. This is the Desert Dusk palette. So I did use this in my first palette bingo video and you guys, honestly, I hadn't been using this palette but once I used it for that palette bingo, I had to kind of stop myself from using this palette every single day. I think that this palette is so so beautiful. There's a wonderful range of colors. I used it so much that I had to specifically stop myself from using this so that I could use the palettes that I'm actually trying to pan for this year because otherwise it was like I wasn't giving those any attention. This completely just like stole all of my interest so I do really like this. I am trying not to use it quite as often because I do want to focus on those other palettes but this was a serious favorite of mine for January. Another makeup favorite from January is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color. This is a pencil for your brows and I love this product. I think that it makes my brows look so good. I love these thinner pencils for my brows. I just think that I can make things very precise. I have had this product before. This is the older one and I think that I have like a tiny bit of product left in here. Yeah, like this is all that's left in there. Um, and I only used this one on special occasions because I did really like it. I was sent this one through Oxley earlier in the month and again I just completely fell in love with this product. I like it even more because they did add a spoolie to the end of this and so it's like an even better product. I just think that this is such a good brow pencil so definitely a favorite. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this Flawless Hair Remover. I did actually do a full review on my channel of this hair remover. It is so Good. This is the only sort of like face hair remover that doesn't leave my skin at all irritated. I did only use it for the first time in the video, but I have had a couple months now to reuse it a few times and really see how it works. I love this thing. I think that this was like one of the greatest investments that I could have made as far as like hair removing goes for the face. It's just like a really good product. So glad that I have it. Definitely a favorite. All right, and my last favorite for January is a mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is from L'Oreal. I have had this for a few months already, I think. Yeah, I, I've had it at least for a few months now. And when I first got this, I liked it. I wasn't wowed by it. And I don't know if it just dried up a little bit. This really 
does something for my lashes. I have very thin, blonde, kind of like droopy lashes, and this just kind of like curls them. This really gives them volume, it gives them length, it just does everything I could ever want a mascara to do. I know when this first came out, a lot of people kind of compared it to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and in my personal opinion, I don't think that the two are the same at all. I don't like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's very flaky. I don't love the way that it makes my lashes look. That's just me personally. So even if you don't like that one, I would still recommend checking this one out just because this is such a good mascara. Alright, so that is everything for my January favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what were some of your January favorites. I would love to hear from you all. And until next time, guys, bye!